So we only have a couple of more things to do before we're done, and that is to get social media icons, or to show you how to get social media icons, to show you how to make a logo and show you how to uh, put credits for the play button and all of the icons that we're using. We need to give credit for the people to the people who have made it. So to do that, just click on customize. And we want to click on social. We're going to do social media icons first. And you can add uh, up to 10 social media icons. Just click on the first one. And we can add in the name of it. So it's YouTube and our URL. So that's, you know, you could just copy the URL. Um, but I have memorized mine. All right. So once we do that, we need to get uh, a YouTube icon or you know Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or whatever you use um, and we can go back to logomaker.com l-o-g-o-m-a-k-r dot c-o-m no e and once we do that we can just search for YouTube in the search thing search thing the search bar and click on YouTube and you know make it the YouTube colors and we can maybe a little darker and we can press save and save this to our desktop and once we do that we can just go back to customize and select image and select and you know upload the file so we can select the file and upload it from our desktop to uh, our website and then choose image and it'll automatically resize and all that fancy stuff for you. So once we have done that, we can save and publish. But it's not going to add anywhere. It's not going to add to our footer yet because we didn't uh, specifically put it there. So let's put it there. To do that, click on footer options and left uh, block content. And we can do social icons. And so that's going to replace your logo. Um, we can also put it here but we need to choose what we want and what we don't want so uh, we have it there I don't actually want um, a social media icons on my uh, on this website because I don't really think a plumber should have too many social media maybe YouTube but not really anything else people don't really follow plumbers but anyways that's a personal preference um, so I'm just gonna keep my logo but I just wanted to show you how to do that Okay, so the next thing uh, after we've done that, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a logo real quick. So to make a logo, you can search for anything you want. You can search for, you know, um, some geometric shape or something, or, you know, whatever you want, cats, dogs, uh, plumbing stuff. And we can add it here, and we can just put in text and put in simple logo okay you wouldn't put in that but and then I like you know the icon on the left side and the text on the right side just like this because it fits really well in here so once we do that we can just resize it and make it smaller and you know pick a color and save it and then just upload it. The cool thing about Logo Maker is it will make it transparent in the background. So uh, even if we made this black on the menu bar right here, it would still, you know, uh, not have like a big block of white. It'll, it'll be transparent, so that's really cool. All right, and um, the next thing that we need to do is give credit for the icons, the logos, and the icons that we use, like this play button. So um, people have uh, kindly uh, made these icons, and let's give them credit for it. So um, type in play in the search bar, and this is the one that we used, and just press save, and we can copy the credits. So click and copy, and it's copied to your clipboard. Um, it's just like pressing control C and now we need to make a credits page so we can exit this out now and we can go to a uh, new page and we're gonna call it credits and under text right here not visual but text since we're pasting in code we're just gonna paste it paste all right, and uh, we're not using the page builder right now. This is the regular um, 
uh, how WordPress, how you'd make a, a website, you know, the normal way uh, without the page builder. And the page builder is much better, but since it's just plain text, we're just going to use this. All right. Um, and this is what it looks like visually. And we're going to make the template full width page and publish it. Once we do that, we can visit our site, but we're not going to see it anywhere because we haven't added it to the menu. But I want to add it to the bottom. It wouldn't really be right to add it to the top. Uh, that would be weird. So let's add it to the bottom right here. So we go to Customize, and we go to Menus. And for the footer menu, we need to add an item. So just click Add Item, and we're going to add a page. And that page is going to be the Credits page. Once we do that, it may not update automatically. Oh, but it did. <laughs> and press Save and Publish. And now we have that credits page, and we can click on it and give the appropriate credit to the people who uh, work hard and deserve uh, you know, the credit for making these icons and, and making uh, Logo Maker.